welcome to the channel. It's called Keep Low, K double E P slash L O. Keep Low Productions is the company. I am the CEO, Lashin Turner. I'd like you to subscribe, like, and share. Hit the notification bell and thumbs up bell. I appreciate everybody for rocking out with me. And if you'd like to get your Keep Low Production shirts, hit me in the comment section. Serious inquiries only. And thank you for rocking with the channel, which is called Keep Low. I appreciate you all. And I'd like you to enjoy the video. Thank you for rocking with Keep Low. Yo, 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 peace. What it do, y'all? Yo, last name to God, I'm in your area with another video. Yo, check it out. I just want to address this shit real fast. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. It's called Keep Low. But check it out. There's some shit that I really want to address real quick. Because, you know, I be observing a lot of shit on the internet. And it be a lot of goofy, bozo shit on, going on. And motherfuckers act like they don't seem to see it. So I'm going to just shine some light on that motherfucker right now. You feel me, dig me? Y'all hit the thumbs up button and fuck with me because there's some real shit right here. Y'all check it out. I know a lot of y'all, especially my subscribers, be fucking with that clubhouse shit or y'all listen to just different shit that's going on in the internet. And y'all, it's a whole bunch of goofy shit going on like I just said and I will reiterate that shit. But let me say this shit, man. Look. In the words of Ice Cube, and I'm going to call Ice Cube, I was taught on my block that you don't ride on anybody's jock. For anything they do, fuck him and his crew, unless you was getting paid to. Now, look, I don't say that in an envious way, and I don't say that in a malicious way, but I say that in a real way. Like, I'm not just out here saying fuck brothers because they winning or shit like that because I envy motherfuckers. Nah, that's not it. But, nigga, you, a lot of your motherfuckers, and I'm going to say this, a lot of your motherfuckers, listen to me, a lot of your motherfuckers on Clubhouse need to get your bus pass because y'all riding on a nigga dick in there. You feel me? Now, let me just say this shit too, man. Yo, look. Every motherfucker that motherfuckers is calling big homie, damn sure ain't no big homie in my motherfucking eyes. You feel me? Because, yo, a big homie is somebody that look out for motherfuckers, right? A big homie is somebody that got wisdom, that's wise, that's giving you jewels, you know what I mean? That's what a big homie is. You know, a big homie is somebody you can look to for good advice, not bad advice, but these so-called big homies out here now, these motherfuckers is police, man. Yo, listen to me, man. Yo, all your motherfucking youngins, come close to this motherfucker and listen to me, man. A lot of these motherfucking big homies out here, they motherfucking police, man. They fucking secret police, man. They working with some type of federal agency or some state agency, and they getting their little bag on the low, and they leading y'all dumb motherfuckers, yeah, I said y'all dumb motherfuckers, that's dick riding, they leading all y'all dumb motherfuckers to death and destruction, you feel me? Now, you could keep on going and calling these niggas big homie and riding their dick and treating them like they sir guard and bowing down to a, another motherfucker when you're supposed to be a man yourself. This shit is to me. You feel me? Look, listen to me, man. Look, I was born in Harlem. Harlem, New York, right? Nigga, when I probably like five or six, my family moved up to Edenwall Projects in the Bronx. Now, anybody who fucking know about Edenwall Projects know that's one of the, if not the toughest projects in New York, is definitely one of the toughest projects in New York that you could lose your motherfucking life in. You don't go on Eden World Project with no fake bogus shit, or you will get your head busted at the least, or you might just die at the most. And that's just some real shit, man. There's a lot of shit waiting for you in Eden World Project. Now, if you come in peace, you might leave in peace because everything might be peace. And we got some young boys that'll still tear your ass up even if you come in peace. But more than likely, everybody getting to their money and doing what the fuck they got to do. But getting back to the situation, man, I grew up around a lot of real shit. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the tender age of 12, 13, 14, 15. 
You know, I was always a little motherfucker that was in the midst of a whole bunch of negative shit at the time. I ain't gonna lie. I was getting caught up in the mechanics of that shit. So I was dwelling in a lot of evil fucked up shit when I was young at a certain time. I was dwelling into it and I was down to do... When I was 15, 14, I was down to do what niggas that was 30 wasn't down to do. You feel me? And there's a whole bunch of niggas that could tell you that. Shout out to my brother, Just, and everybody I fucked with. But, yo, look, anyway, man, we was just brought up different. And, yo, this is fucking 2022, man. Y'all niggas got the internet. Y'all niggas got all kind of information available to y'all. At the time when I was coming up, we ain't had no fucking internet. Yo, nigga, you want to study some shit? Go to Botanica Encyclopedias and study some shit. But the shit that I'm telling y'all niggas, you can't get out no motherfucking book, man. This shit is in the streets and this is real life shit. And yo, it's just pathetic. And I want to emphasize the facts that I see a lot of grown people riding niggas dicks that are not worthy of being road, period. These niggas ain't no reputable reputables because... If anybody that's real reputable, a certified street motherfucker, they can see through all this bogus bullshit that's going on. Now, look, I'm not singling out nobody independently, but a lot of that shit be going on in Clubhouse and just on the internet, period. And, like, in the East Coast, you got a little bit of that dumb shit going on, too. You know, niggas just start calling a nigga big homie and get caught up in some dumb shit that they wasn't really prepared for following another dumb motherfucker. You know what I mean? And look, um, there's a, a couple of good guys that I know that I'm so disappointed in these niggas. They let some little stupid motherfucker, and y'all know who I'm talking about if you're from New York, especially the Brooklyn area. But like some niggas that I was fucking with, you know, not tight, tight, but niggas that I know and I came up with that I affiliate with a little bit, or that I'm associated with, let me just say that, that I'm associated with it in a little bit, but it's not my immediate click, but I know them, and they were some good, solid dudes, but they let some little goofy, corny motherfucker lead them, because they was chasing the money, and he was dangling money all in their face, and they saw an opportunity for their family's lifestyle to change, and now, like, 10, 12 of these niggas is sitting behind bars. And y'all know who I'm talking about. Shout out to my niggas. And I ain't even going to say their names neither. But shout out to my niggas. I miss seeing y'all in bed style. Like on some real shit. But like, nigga, I was so disappointed that they got caught up with another little motherfucker that was supposed to be in some gang shit. And he let all these niggas down the drain. And he's free as fuck right now, flossing his money and all that on the internet. And it's just sad. And yo... Shout out to all my niggas that's thorough in Cali. But look, don't be letting these goofy niggas that y'all call big homie lead you to death and destruction or just throw some bullshit in your face. I be hating to hear this shit. And I just had to make this video about it. Yo, look, sometimes I be just going on the internet and I just see something and I click on it. And then another nigga be saying some crazy shit, some crazy bogus shit. Y'all got a tape on this person. I know the info on this person. How the fuck you know everything? You feel me? How the fuck you know all this information? And, and look, even if you do got a couple of million dollars, why you paying money for tapes on niggas and all kind of bogus, goofy shit? You know what I mean? Like... Nigga, and I ain't going to hate on a motherfucker because if you get in your bag and you extorting these faggot niggas and they paying and they riding your dick like that, then it's good to be you in that sense. But nigga, I ain't fucking with that. I don't want no nigga riding my dick because I'm throwing out some bogus shit to the world. Nigga, if you authentic, you're going to come authentic. You know what I mean? You're going to come with originality and shit that just stamps you as official. You know what I mean? Not no. I got to do a whole bunch of goofy shit to have these other so-called pussy-ass goofy niggas. Yeah, yeah, L.A. Yeah, L.A. I don't need no fucking yes, man. And any devil nigga don't need no yes, man. Nigga, you don't need that. And look, I don't need a whole bunch of niggas praising me. I'm the God of shame, man. Fuck, I need another nigga praising me for. You feel me? Like, nigga, in the words of Styles P, nigga, I don't give a fuck.
fuck who you are. I don't care about a pretty bitch watch or a car. And that's just some real shit. So if you think you can impress me with your riches or dangling your little trinkets in my face or you the big homie from over this place, nigga, you ain't hear what the fuck I just said. I'm the guard lashin. What's higher than guard, nigga? Yo, stop all that goofy shit. And all your stupid motherfuckers that's sitting in the back with your pom-poms cheerleading the next nigga that's probably fucking police or some undercover Donnie Brasco shit getting ready to fuck up a whole bunch of people's life with this faggot shit that he just talking on the internet and it ain't about nothing. And yo, that's the that's the all I'ma say to that shit. Subscribe to the channel, it's called Keep Low. Fuck with me, Lash in the guard. And stay away from these goofy niggas. And all y'all pussy niggas that's got your pom-poms. Yes, sir. Yes, big homie. You're the man. You're a fucking cornball. And yo, keep low the company. Subscribe. I'm ghost off this faggot shit.